on another nice one. I'm fishing with a good friend, Jim Stewart here, Whale Tails. If you want to show muskies something different, we're going to show you how to work them in a minute. Another big one in another the net, big, Jim. Yeah, you are on fire, dude. Whale Tails. What up, Jim? Jeez what up, up, MG? <laughs> yeah. We are fishing in the North Woods. We have been out for how long? Maybe 45 minutes. I forgot my sunglasses. That ate up about 20 of that. <laughs> yep. So make sure you have your right sunglasses on before you go out and you stick a Northwoods hog on the whale tail. Yeah. Sort of weird conditions. Bad post frontal stuff yesterday. There's a cold front. We're fishing slow. Fishing sort of mixed up in speeds. We talked about earlier. Jim's like, should we slow down? Should we speed up? I said, Mary Glenn's is going to be steady Eddie. Mm -hmm. I'm going to slow coach it. Jim's going to fish a little bit quicker. So we're going to slow medium fast teamwork makes the dream it work does, as they yeah. said yep you know it, and i always fish for the boat it doesn't matter we know where they're at we're going to get more but whale tails is something different that's going to put some muskies in your net they've not seen this no, no it's a new, new it's a newer bait yeah it's a giant grub this tail has so much motion and the weighting systems on these you can do so much with it yeah I was sort of jigging it, where it's just doing this, ripping and fall. It's a pretty cool bait, especially on these pressure waters. We're up here. We've seen plenty of people at the boat ramp. We were talking to people at the boat ramp. Yeah. If you got to show them something different, check out Whale Tails. I'll show you how we did it in a second. Ooh, okay. Ah, got him. Oh, yep, finally. Right by the boat. Check me all day. Tim, we've been grinding all day long for one bite. Finally got it. Sometimes it's low and slow. Low and slow, man. Whale tails. This is the original big whale tail. Love this thing. And this is the new fat tail. You just saw me and my good friend Tim put a really nice muskie in the net with this thing. Big old square tail. This has a ton of action. You can see it's just a different take on a swim bait. Like I said, square tail. So it's got a little bit different action there. Just some harder thump going on. And the versatility here to change the weights in. You can run this thing shallow. You can run it deep. Same goes for this guy. The versatility is all over the map. You can take this out. He's going to be shallow again. You can put in the big weights. They'll run deep. Rip them, twitch them, straight retrieve, pull them. It doesn't matter. Whale tails are going to put a big muskie in your net. Whale tail swim baits. This monster lure has a mesmerizing erratic tail that muskies find irresistible. It has a built-in weight system that allows you to fish at many depths and speeds, making it the most versatile jerk swim bait on the market. These cannot be worked wrong, but a pull-pause retrieve is recommended. Even straight reeling, jigging, and trolling are all proven methods of catching fish. The newest model is the fat tail, which is built on the body of the 11-inch whale tail. This has a huge paddle tail, putting out massive vibration. Like the whale tails, it has a weight system to fine-tune your speed and depth presentation. Stop and go erratic retrieves are deadly with this awesome six ounce new bait. My preferred setup for the big rubber baits, especially these whale tails, Trank's 400, so you got a little bit of speed there and a multi-strand leader. So it, you can go fluorocarbon on this, but I seem to get the best action out of, of the leader materials that have a little bit of flex. Really some you know interesting things you can do with these baits is throw them out and surge, right? Every time you're doing this, that bait is advancing and it's dropping off nose down like a wounded or injured bait fish. That seems to really trigger some strikes. You can do the straight retrieve method like we discussed and just straight crank this guy, but it really seems to get them fired up if they're negative or neutral when you surge this bait. When it comes to ripping, they look great as well. You can drag them across, pick up the slack, drag them across, pick up the slack. Now the place you want to apply this is going to be shallow cover. So whether we have a weed edge, rocks, timber, whatever it might be, get this close to that. Get it close to your cover. Get it close to structure. Rip it, twitch it, pull it. They're going to hit it. Whale tails are going to put a big muskie in your net. It's gonna 